see the hype outside. What's good, Elevation Youth? It is so good to be back on week two of our YouTube channel. It's going to be amazing. This week, we have a lot in store for you guys. You're probably wondering, where the heck is Georgia? She'll be coming up a bit later on in this live stream. She's actually bringing the message. But right now, we're going to dive into what we call Friday Night Shenanigans with James and Will. It's going to be fun. You guys are going to love it. So I'm just going to pass off to them, but I'll talk to you guys after. Elevation you welcome back to the second week of Friday Night Shenanigans. We're playing Truth or Truth. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We'd like to know where you guys are tuning in from, whether it's your grandma's house, in the toilet, outside, drinking a pipeline punch in your bedroom. <sighs> anyway, we're going on to the Truth or Truth Challenge. I'm going to ask James some questions. If he doesn't want to answer them, we're going on to the Weebix Challenge. Here, we have Weebix and milk. We each get one cup of milk. Whoever eats the least amount of Weebix in 20 seconds will, has to tell the truth. Starting again tonight, what's your most recent photo on your camera roll? You wanna show it? Oh, come on. Three. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. Oh, you didn't no neck, boy. No neck. I can't see no neck in that photo. Man's neck just said, mm, let me just. I, I did it, I did it. Man's neck went that. into his body. I did it now. Alright, second question for you. Who is your most recent, uh, most recent person you called? Uh, Who is it? Come on. It's man, bro. Always calling someone, never want to call me. Busy calling someone. Yeah. yeah. It was, it, was, it was my mum. It was my mum. Oh, okay. Can I see? Get. Will's mum, eye heart emoji, heart emoji, red heart emoji. Whose man's is this? Like. No, 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 no. No, it, it wasn't a man. It, was, it wasn't an easy. We were just. <laughs> I was just calling her to wake you up. I was just calling her to wake you up, alright? That's cap, that's cap, that's cap! I always call my mum, I no, always I was, say, who are you calling? You say, I'm with somebody. I, I was and then now I know you call my mum. Will's mum, I heart emoji, red heart emoji. We'll talk, we'll talk about this after, honestly. I'm in okay. Go. Stop the camera! Alright, third question for James. Who is your crush? Are we gonna have to do the wee big challenge? Um, come on. Or you can just tell me, it makes it easy. I think, I think we'll just... Yeah, we'll do the wee big challenge? Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's yeah. go. Whoever eats the most in 20 seconds doesn't have to answer the question. If I lose, I have to win. I'm gonna get James. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Right there, but as we can see, Will won, but he did win by cheating. So tonight, Will's going to be answering the question. So, Will, who is your crush? It's going to have to be Zara Eric. Zara Eric. So I just, I've, I've liked you for so long, and I just, just, I feel like we have a passion to be together, and that just we're meant to be. I love you, Zara. <laughs> That's it for Friday Night Shenanigans. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Guys, I was laughing my pants off. I want you guys right now to put like a laughing faces or something in the comments because those two just crack me up. They're amazing. But right now, we're actually going to step into a time that we call worship. And we have our amazing band and they're going to lead us in, in a song. But uh, I don't want you guys just to listen to it and not participate. I actually want you guys to dive in and participate with us, have an active heart and know that God can touch you through this screen, through this live stream and even comment right now what he's talking to you about. But I'll talk to you guys after. But enjoy. I'm caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet Caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave Oh, I'm not here for bliss 
way too blessed to have an amazing team like that who can bring us into the presence of God and really allow God to speak to you through anything whether that's face to face or even through this screen so right now we actually have the honor and the privilege to hear from our amazing youth director uh, Georgia Gordon my amazing beautiful wife who has this fire word for you guys so grab your notepad down I want you guys to be commenting when you hear something fire and fire emojis drop them right now uh, but enjoy guys she's going to challenge you guys and really encourage you guys on your walk in faith so enjoy Elevation Youth my name is Georgia and if you haven't met me I want to welcome you here if you're new here tonight welcome you're already part of the family and we love you so much and I can't wait to meet you in person but tonight we're starting a new series called hello my name is now when I instantly hear that I automatically think of the Eminem song like hello my name is what my name is oh yes I did used to be a rapper in my earlier years of teenagerhood but I have retired now but if you automatically thought of hello my name is I want you to put in the comments the emoji with the sunglasses on right now because I just start seeing it in my head as soon as I hear it so as I said tonight we're starting a new series called hello my name is and I'm really excited about this one in this series we want to show you that believing in Christ changes your identity you're no longer what the world says about you you're no longer what you say or think about yourself you are who Christ says you are. Now, is that not the most refreshing thing that you have ever heard? You're no longer what the world says about you. You're no longer what you think about yourself, but you are who Christ says you are. And I want to remind you guys that Christ says some good things about you guys. And for me, I first realized that when I was 14 years old, I was at a youth camp and I had an encounter with um, Jesus and I've never felt this before. I felt peace, love, calm, happy all at once. And it was such a crazy experience for me. And I've, I don't even know how to explain it, but it makes me so happy talking about it. But I remember in that moment, just being like, thank you so much, God. But a couple of weeks after that, I was like, so what's next? So who actually am I? What, what is next for me, Georgia? Um, how do I how do I go on living life after this amazing encounter with God? And probably some of you just like me are wondering the same thing. What does it actually mean when it says you are who Christ says you are? Now, Gruden defines some results of being a new Christian, a new creation in Christ. A person who is born again has that has a spiritual seed. Ready? This is for you. That life generating and growing power within him and that this keeps a person living a life free from continual sin this does not of course mean that that person will not 
will have a perfect life, but only that the pattern of life will not only be continually indulging in sin. I just want to remind you of that promise. A person who is born again, that's you, has a spiritual seed, that life generated and growing power within him. That is you tonight. You have that life growing power within you. You have life generating inside of you. And I want to remind you that tonight. And that just makes me so excited. But tonight I want to encourage you guys that if you've had an encounter with Jesus, don't live your old life. Don't live in the past. Don't ignore that encounter that you had with Jesus because you are made new. My friend tonight, you are a new creation and it's time that we start to step in the promises that God has for us. It says in Isaiah 40 verse 29, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. That promise is for you because you are a new creation. I want to remind you tonight in this season, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. If you are feeling weak tonight, He's going to increase your power. In Isaiah 40 verse 31 it says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar like eagles. They will run and not go weary. They will walk and not go faint. And for you again in this season, you have access to this because you are a new creation and it's time that we start to step into God's promises. In Isaiah 41 verse 13 it says, For I, the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. He will help you. That is a promise that you have and I want to, you to step into that tonight. I want you to step into that continually. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 it says, The Lord himself goes before you. And will not be and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsaken you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. And I want to encourage you guys tonight. This is good news. This is good news that you are no longer what the world says about you or what you say about yourself. You are who Christ says you are. So that means you don't have to fear because it says he'll give strength to the weary. Do not fear because I am with you. He has those promises for you. And tonight I want you to step into that. But as I wrap this up. I want to encourage you guys that don't just leave that encounter for yourself. You know, think of the first encounter that you ever had with Jesus. Take it back to that moment. Close your eyes, whatever you need to do to think of that moment. But there's a moment like that waiting for someone else, waiting for your friend, waiting for your sister, waiting for your brother, waiting for your teacher. If your teachers aren't saved, or waiting for anyone in your family that's not saved. That same moment that God had for you, it's waiting for them as well. And I want to encourage you guys to go out into your world and to tell them about the encounter that you had because you are a new creation and you cannot take that away. No one can take that away from you. So I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed tonight and I can't wait to see you guys in face. Elevation Youth, that was so good to hear from our youth director. Honestly, fire, what an amazing message. We are blessed to have her. But sadly, that is the end of our live stream, guys. I know it sucks. Chuck some wow wows in the comments right now. But two quick announcements, guys, is that we are going to be coming back next week the exact same time. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. We've got Friday Night Shenanigans. We've got a band coming back. It's going to be amazing. Uh, and the second thing is that if you guys want to join in on our online Sunday services, we'd love for you to join. DM us. But it's actually happening Sunday, 9, 11, and 5 p.m on sunday we'd love for you guys to join us dm us like i said but that's it for us we love you guys and we'll see you next week back to the second week of friday night shenanigans and today we're going to be doing tonight tonight because it's night time it's night time mm. So tonight we're going to be playing Swear. Truth or Truth. And then after that, after that, James, <laughs> after that, then be like, but. Milk my then after that, James, be like, but. We got the Wee Big Challenge. Yeah? No, it's Truth or Truth. Move. Welcome back to the second No, we didn't hear any of it. <laughs> Three, oh, well, well, well. two. The challenge called the Wee Big Challenge. And whoever eats the less in 20 seconds has to tell Wait, the truth. Whoever eats the less or whoever eats the least? Or it, both. Wait, whoever eats the least has to walk. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I don't think I did. All right, ready? Three, Three four, nine. two, one. No, so tonight, so no, no, let him go. He's got it. He's got tonight, it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Okay, I don't think. Anyways, <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. We see that hype outside. Right from the house.